Love you. Love you too. Bye, Dad. Yeah. Bye. Patchy's recovering pretty well. Patchy. <laughs> Say what's up, fam? Hey. What's up, fam? Okay, okay. Patchy Poo. Look at it. Look. Look at it. It's almost fully grown yes. it back. Update on Mowgli. He's been doing amazing. And his hair is finally, finally almost his fully grown back. For his name, Patchy is coming in today. <laughs> Patchy poo, come here, Patchy poo. And then he's dressed up as a pirate for Halloween. Why? Why a pirate? He's not missing an eye. Oh. He's such a vigorous lover. I think I've talked about this before. When you rub him, he like pushes against you, like he wants to be rubbed so hard. <laughs> Look at his little fangs. I die every time. Knock knock. Patty Patty. Patty Patty. Often free. Child. <laughs> She does this every morning. She just wants to hide from humanity and we're trying to get ready for school and she's like not interested. Oh, okay, Mowgli, I need to wash my hands. I've touched I you too much you today. If you don't know, I am allergic to cats and I was raised around them, so I absolutely love them, but like anytime I touch them, I have to immediately wash my hands. I can already feel the allergens. Oh my gosh, there is a full sink of dishes. Our life's going well today. What's up, fam? Good morning. That was quite the intro. Good official morning. Oh my gosh, I know, right? But we've got so much going on today. Literally, Tag. so, no, I don't want it. I did the other four today. That's your call. No, that was yours. You left that inside of me. You get to you let it out. What is he doing? He just ran into a chair. <laughs> I think we talked about this before. Mowgli's a little remember, odd. Remember the seal from Finding Dory? Yes, Gerald. Gerald. That's, that's Mowgli. We call him Gerald because it's like, what do you always say? What's the line? Get off the our. Yeah. Is it get off the rock? Uh -huh. Yeah. Get off the rock, Gerald. Is that how he says it? That's Mowgli. And Mowgli even looks like him too. We give him a hard time, but the cat is just cats are supposed to be like coordinated, and this cat's just not coordinated at all. He never has been. He's just. Anywho, we love him so much. We picked up Chipotle on the way home. I love listening to what other people like get like when they shop and when they eat, I don't know. So I'm gonna share with you guys today because I typically like, I feel like I don't do that as much. So I'm gonna start doing that more with you guys. But from Chipotle, I will get a bowl and I will get the sofritas, um, which is like the vegetarian meat basically. And I'll get lettuce, cheese, guacamole, the medium salsa, brown rice, and sour cream. Oh, pinto beans also. That is my go-to Chipotle order. I will always do just the burrito bowl. I fell in love with this. Actually, it was like right when I became a vegetarian. And ever since then, I just like, I crave it all the time. Landon is back onto his class because he has to log on to Zoom after he gets home from school. Mom, my stomach is so happy right now. Your stomach will feel happy. Feet in the night, feet in the day. She really knows it. Wet feet, dry feet, low feet, high feet. You did it. Front feet, back feet. How many different feet you meet? <laughs> Good job. Sick feet. Wow feet. What does sick feet look like? Oh, like that. What does well feet look like? <gasps> like that. Up feet, down feet. Here comes Hong Oh, Hong Kong, Hong Kong. It's hard to find things to do with kids when you have the one with a broken foot. <laughs> it's all like urban air and like. Um, Mommy, I want to go to the trampoline park. You want to go to the trampoline park? Yeah, I'll, I'll do it. He went. He was. This kid was swinging on the swings at the park yesterday. Yeah. Hardcore swinging, and then he was on the um, he's like, You dare me to jump? <laughs> oh my god, and I was like, Child, you're gonna break your other foot, like, you've only got one to spare right now. It was cool though, because I went five times spinning around until I had to undo it, and I, I almost fell off because it's it oh around. my goodness. So we wanted to do, Tommy and Kate are leaving today. But before they leave, I wanted to do something, something fun. I would like to have taken you guys to rock and jump or something, but that probably wouldn't be a good idea. Why do you think that wouldn't be a good idea? I have a sword. Uh, your brother's foot. Oh. I know. <laughs> it's okay, we can do it, we can do it another time. Um, I want to do something that we can all do. So instead, let's, yeah, for sure when he's better. Dad had the idea, let's go to the park and have like a big ice cream cake party. And we can just go hang out. 
And we have this, I, Kaden, you picked this out? Yeah. Right? They picked out this um, ice cream cake a few days ago. So we're letting it defrost and we're gonna take it and like bring like forks and plates and stuff to the park and just have like a little, little fun time. They actually have to leave in like a little over, because the, the problem is, is to do anything on a Tuesday afternoon. What is in here? There's Easter candy in here. Um, to do something on a Tuesday, let alone like with a broken foot, that's kind of difficult to find something to do. Plus they have to leave, their flight leaves at five something, so Chris has to leave like a couple hours before that to bring them to the airport to make sure they don't miss their flight and it's already 2 p.m. The kids all just finished their like online, whoever was like, Lilia and Landon have to do Zoom. They just finished their Zoom. Hey, get your shoes on and stuff. Um, Tommy's been here for like, a month, I think, at least a month, and he's actually probably gonna come back up here like really, really soon. The only reason they're going back is because uh, Kaden has an appointment for his foot, and Tommy's too scared to fly alone, and so he wanted to stay up here and then just go back like for Mother's Day, but he's still a little bit too nervous to fly on his own, so they figured to just send him back now, and then we'll actually be picking them up the next time that we'll see them, unless Tommy comes up here sooner. Um, the next time that we'll see them is in Disneyland, which is just in a couple weeks. But uh, we, I wanted to go do something fun with them before they left, and there's just not too much time. We have like, when do you need to leave? In an hour? I got an ice cream spoon for you because you need to watch what you eat. Thanks, that was so <laughs> kind of you. What do you think this is from? One of Addie's dolls? Look at, we have bubbles too. So let's bring these, okay. Tell me this isn't the worst design for bubbles ever. Do you, if you saw this, okay, this one. If you saw this, what, as a child, and you just grabbed it, what would you think that it is? I'm gonna give you five seconds before I tell you mine. Uh, applesauce. applesauce. This literally looks like applesauce. We've had two of the kids open this and not even think about it and then go to eat it and they were like, that's not applesauce. They're bubbles, so um, this is dangerous. This is really dangerous. We packed the ice cream cake. We have an ice cream cake in there. We're packing some bubbles. Uh, did I even finish my, what I was thinking or what I was saying? I wanted to take them somewhere, but between Caden's broken foot, it being a Tuesday afternoon, and us not having much time between the time that the kids get out of school and the time that they have to leave, um, it was actually Chris's idea to just go to the park over here and we're gonna have like a big fat ice cream party with everybody. We've got plates, we've got forks, we've got ice cream cake, we've got a Disney bag. This is it, let's go. All right, Kaden, you got this? Yes. <laughs> we've got the scooter for the scooter kid. We've got bikes for the rest of us. We've all got some kind of wheels here, except me, I don't have wheels. And he has a helmet for his foot, not only for his head, but, well, he's not on his head, but for his foot. That's pretty epic. Probably eat this before it melts. It's always so windy here. <laughs> so annoying. Okay, I'm gonna try the infamous applesauce bubbles. <laughs> oh, that's cool. I see. Woo! These work, dude. I was giving hella shade to these bubbles, but man, they work. Do they taste good? Just a <laughs> Do they taste good? Wasn't it you that tried it? You were one of the ones. Then, but then Nambi did. Oh, and then you realized that it was no bueno. Yep, I was gonna let him do it. <laughs> yeah. Nambi did. That's Nambi over there. Nambi's their friend. Showed up at the park at the same time. I guess Nambi thought that these were bubbles, or no, no that they were applesauce. Did anybody else try the bubble applesauce? No. Try to eat it. You tried to eat it. I thought it was bad. I swallowed it. You swallowed it, okay. Well, hopefully these are non-toxic. I'm telling you the packaging of these. And then they're not even called bubbles, they're called bubbles. So like you really have to, I don't know, like it seems obvious, but really like to a little kid. Is there more please? So interesting. But look at, don't worry guys, it says no dyes and non-toxic, so we're good. Take your bubbles anywhere, just not down your throat.
<laughs> she, she's got you covered. She's got you guys looking good. Thanks, mom. <laughs> Chris just left. He just took Tommy and came to the airport. What? 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 <laughs> I know. He's so sad. Tommy's been here for a long time. He's been here for like, um, I think it's been a month. It might have been over a month. I don't know. I sh I'd have to go back and actually count the days. He's been here for a long time and he wants to come back again. We'll see though. That's a talk between his mom and his dad. So that's something that they're going to decide and think about. But... The girls have danced today, and since Chris is gone, he obviously took kids to the airport, we're all gonna go. So I told the kids, grab your iPads, which they love, because I really try, they either get no screen time during the week or very limited screen time during the week as far as like iPads go, but I'm just so, I'm so drained right now. So I said, grab your iPads and get in the van, <laughs> and we're all gonna take the girls to dance and just like wait on the car and hang out on their iPads. I might bring my computer so I can work. Landon, that sound, I don't think I hate anything else in the world more than that sound. I think I posted this on my Instagram stories. Kyson did this all on his own. It says, ask, ask first. Thank you, Kyson. Do not touch. All right, we just got to the airport here. We got Mr. Tama Bear. We got Crutchy. <laughs> we got Mr. Caden. Do you have your backpack, Tommy? There you go. All right, turbo. <laughs> Uh, 10, 10 and 11. Are we checking any bags? No. Who's picking you fellas up? Your mom. All right. And you know the routines yep. until the aircraft gets in there. Yep, we're veterans. You guys are all set. Thank <laughs> all right. you so much. Thank you. All right, up and up and up. Hope we don't get stuck. Because when it's up, it's stuck, right? <laughs> what did you learn today? <gasps> What's that? A plie. A plie. Show me a releve. Ooh, show me a boy. <gasps> Good job. Show me a plie. <laughs> Girl. Show me a arabesque. <laughs> Good job. I'm so proud of you. You learn so much every time you go, I swear. You didn't do that stretch today? Yeah, we probably shouldn't do it in the parking lot anyway, huh? One dance class down. Lilias. Still in dance. Lily is still in dance for another hour and 15 minutes. And it, we live like 20 minutes from the dance studio. So it's like, do we go home and then come back or do we stay? Normally there's two of us, but it's like, I don't know if I want to load up all the kids again. What if we like went and got food? We yes. could feed you guys. Yes. We don't, we don't feed you. Donuts. Donuts. That is a lot of requests. Well, what, about, <laughs> Mom, what about cousin <laughs> oh my god. Donut. Update. McDonald's was the closest to us. So we grabbed McDonald's. I think instead of driving all the way back home, we just found a random park. We've never been to this park before. I just like typed in park because you have to remember we're new to this area altogether. So I don't really know anything about this town yet. Everything's been closed because of COVID. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, you guys are gonna help me carry the food. Okay, we're gonna have a picnic outside and we can play until until your sissy gets out, okay? Thank you, sissy. So I literally got 40 chicken nuggets and water. <laughs> That's what we got. So they're gonna have a little picnic out here and we're just gonna wait for sissy to get out. This is so much better than going home. This is a good little adventure. I love when life takes you on accidental adventures. I guess it wasn't an accident, but like, I don't know. Here, you hold this. Thank you. Yeah, it's all your guys' food. Ooh, you got that, sissy? Got it? Okay. I eat like this, I eat like this. Yeah, I'm doing that too, Addy. I haven't seen one of these since I was a kid. Like you dig the dirt up with the can with the handles, not the candles. Oh my gosh! Oh my goodness, how neat! I wish it wasn't so windy. That's the only problem with this day. Ask Landon. He just sat on it. Follow public health guidance. Stay proactive every day. Preventative action. Wash hands often with soap and water for at least. When you're headed to Orange County on front 4003, you're in the right spot. Couple of quick announcements for you folks.
you did too So you can just keep trying And I'll just keep saying I don't know about that Cause it's my lazy day Just wanna lazy you away Ain't gonna do a thing For the rest of the day You can try to seduce me Make me wanna play I don't know about that Sadly. All right, Tommy and Caden are on their flight. Um, Tommy really, really wanted to stay. I think there's been a lot of like growing up and maturity uh, within Tommy, especially. Um, he's 10 now and he'll be 11 at the end of the year. And he's just, he's getting to the point in his life where he really wants to decide on his own about things. He wants to make a decision based on what he wants and you know where he wants to be and stuff like that. He had talked about it a little bit and Tommy is expressing to me that he you know he's he's strongly considering wanting to live up here with us. So that's you know that that's a, a really big change for him and it's something that he is like really um, he's like really craving so anyways, I'm gonna head back home. Um, Jessica's been doing the dance runs and stuff like that for the girls, which I normally do. So, let's get back. You flew here? Yeah. That's amazing. You know how? No, you've got wings. Oh my goodness. I'm Tinkerbell, of course. You're Tinkerbell, the real Tinkerbell? Yeah. That makes me Tinkerbell's mom, and that's pretty cool. Landon just got back from his drum lessons. Here, you can take your mask off, buddy. And they gave him a hat, and they gave him, what else did they give you? They gave me stickers, tattoos, and pics. What? For free? And a little toy. Wow. Oh, this is cool. It says, Rocker Mom, My Kid Rocks. Can I have that one? I like that one. Because it says, it's Rocker Mom. You're not a Rocker Mom, are you? I am a mom. Look, it says, it says soccer. And they crossed out the S and the Z and put Rocker. Ah, that's so cool. Addy. Does that look like daddy? No. <laughs> that was gold. Can you do it again? Can I pay have, you to do that again? Well, I, I only, I need to go shave my beard so I can do the mustache. <laughs> no, don't, no, no. <laughs> we recorded the podcast last night. I didn't vlog yesterday, so you guys didn't see that, but I was, we were up so late recording and today was so crazy, so I'm exhausted. <laughs> so I'm gonna end this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a fantastic night and we'll talk to you in the next video. Bye, guys.